Hey now, I almost recorded Norm Macdonald, but first of all, that would have been an asshole move, but... Just for you, though, right? Like you would no, just, you what would, would be the point if you can't share? Oh, yeah, I could have fucking... No, I was going to record <laughs> in my pocket. You could have had, yeah, because like, you, could, you could play it and then have porn playing. And oh. on mute and listen to Norm Macdonald while you're I watching would rather some listen. I want to. I would want Norm Macdonald to talk about comedy while I'm masturbating to porn. Rather than doing comedy while you're masturbating to porn, like listening to a stand-up. I find the interviews with some of my favorite comics um, more interesting sometimes than their actual comedy. But he did. Um, the, uh, recording it and bootlegging it would have been wrong because he had all that fucking had his Netflix show canceled. He was great, and there was a, but there was a lot of retard material. It was positive. Of course, it, it always is. Because it was all about how, like, he wakes up in the morning, and he just, uh, you know, it's very dark. The whole set was just really dark, and he's just talking about like just how. Just how depressing life is and stuff, and, and it would be great if he had like a retarded kid around <laughs> <laughs> who could be like, "Banana, I like bananas. Bananas are yellow." And he's like, "Yes, they are. Let's go get some bananas." <laughs> he has like, he's got like a retarded neighbor, like a few doors down from him, and he's like, he knocks on the door and he's trying to get this lady to let him play with her son. And he's like, then he pauses for a second. He's like, "Why well, do I want to fuck him?" Like, I just need some positive. He's basically saying he needs positive energy around. It was so good, though. He didn't do... Everything was new, or too new to me. But there was a lot of, like... There was some, like... A lot of, like... Uh, he called transgender people it. <laughs> Which sounds familiar to me. I wonder if anyone else saw him. Anyone local. But, um... Dude, the opener was awful. I'm oh, surprised by that. Who was it? It was some fucking local guy named Dan something or Dennis something. He had a guitar. He was in his 50s. Daniel Howard? No. 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 Okay, yeah. Why but it was in that 50s? vein of Daniel Howard, but That's not so as weird. funny. That's so weird. Was he was a local? It, yeah, it was just like song parodies. He's probably local like he plays casinos. I mean, yeah. it's that kind of, it was that kind of like Eagles parodies and shit. Like, just... Ones that aren't even as good as Weird Al because you know they never got recorded and became popular. Dude, you like Weird Al so much. You ever seen UHF? No, I I haven't. That's actually. one of the funniest fucking movies. Yeah, ever. I've always wanted to because like I didn't even know it existed until when I saw him in concert whenever I was young. I uh, and like he had a clip of it. I was like, I gotta see that movie, and then just never was able to. Did really you find a clip it. of it at his concert? Yeah, what I, between every song he changed costumes, so he had like sketches and shit that he did that he would play on like a big screen while he was in the back changing for the so next. So would they play Gandhi too? Conan the Librarian. No, it wasn't like that kind of thing. I Spatula remember, City. I remember one. It was like, oh, I don't really remember. It wasn't. It wasn't. He wasn't also parodying things. Like, that's not his whole shtick. <laughs> yeah, but they had a show where, on UHF, where it was a guy, um, it was an animal show, but, and it was a Mexican guy that would just say, today we teach poodles how to fly. And then he throws poodles out of the window of his house, his apartment, and then they drop off a bunch of animals. He's off camera, and they're dropping off a bunch of animals, and they go... We got those animals you ordered, and he names a bunch of animals, and they say, We got those badgers. Those badgers? We don't need no stinking badgers. That's a parody of a movie. I don't know what movie it is, but I know it's badges. We don't need no stinking badges? Yeah, it's some evil Mexican that's saying, We don't need no stinking badges. Is it, uh. Magnificent Seven, maybe? That movie's fucking funny. What was I gonna say? And the librarian, you don't know the Dewey Decimal System. That's really that's a bad. Norm looked really young. He's looking good. It's Hollywood, dude. Show business, they just keep getting younger. Who do you think he murdered to look that young? I don't know. He looked way better than the guy who opened him for him. Oh my god, I think that dude was wearing a wig. How long did that dude 
that guy do? I don't know. I got up in one of the bathrooms and started vaping in the bathroom, but you could still hear him through the speaker. It's not that the comedy was bad. It was just it was so loud. I didn't want to get a headache or